Hi, my name is Chungda and today I'm uh, filming outside, so it's probably not really the first time, but uh, for this web show it is. And I'm going to, I'm actually filming with a ND filter, so the shutter speed is now on 150th, however, probably the best is one, uh, 130 however, 150 is not very extreme fast or faster than, than it used to have or have to be. So when I'm waving, it's not chalky. It's when you stop it, you will see that my hands are blurred. And when you're, yeah, and using an ND filter is actually way better than actually amping or adding the uh, shutter speed. Because when you add shutter speeds, it will be, um, yeah, it will actually make the shot or the movements of people look really chalky and it's somehow a little bit hard or not really easy to get used to, to at looking at it's it's a great effect for in a fighting scene or an action scene however yeah doing people doing some kinds of normal stuff it's you rather not see anything of that and yeah i'm actually using a cheap nd filter from uh, china it's uh, from the Mac Chen and it's uh, ND16 and it's the yeah it's the darkest and also I added a STPL to add a little bit more however yeah it's just slightly not enough today it's really sunny that it's a little bit of cloud but at the moment it's the uh, full sun shining at me there's no clouds in front of the sun and um, yeah the uh, yeah, the old way, I'm, I was a little bit confused with how to use an ND filter in the beginning with a DSLR because the old way with a, a film camera is that you had to use a lot of different ND filters because you did not have all the, you can't set the ISO setting because you're filming with film so you had to change the ND filters a lot and then you had to, um, uh, or then with the big uh, Sony X1 cameras it had a built-in ND however yeah you still did not have enough things or you can't really uh, put much things on the camera and but with uh, DSLR it's a bit different because you have also the ISO settings what's the best thing to use is actually uh, have like really dark ND filters like what I'm using an ND16 or even adding an ND8 in front of it and then actually amp up the ISO so when it's uh, when it's cloudy you can actually amp up the ISO and when it's really sunny lower down the ISO again and then have the uh, yeah have a, a bit of playing room so you don't have to change the ND filters all the time and just change the ISO settings which helps uh, setting up for filming and yeah mostly that's the tip I'm using a coking filter because it's easy and because you can and also it's cheaper to use at different uh, on different lenses because you can change the adapter instead of actually using it or buying different ND filters and now the sun is gone and now it's dark so see you next time bye